The State Minister for Local Government, Victoria Rusoke Businje, has launched the Strengthening Systems and Public Accountability Project, which is going to be implemented in the northern region in, within its regional office in Arua City. <laughs> During the launch of the program, corruption was singled out as one of the factors for underdevelopment in Uganda and with the launch of the program, it will enable to strengthen the capacity of those involved in the faith against corruption. Mine, I would also advise on this project, let us have partners. I'm happy we have the representative from Inspector of Government, where we also are partnering in the implementation of Dr. Deep in the camps and in the district. And it has been very well because we are training the community monitoring groups and they are able to know what exists in our region or what programs does the government have. The next launches, over launches, launches, over launches, even all over the country will realize no impact. When the refugees came here for the first time, they were beehive of activities. Very many companies came in and later we heard, we were told that there was mismanagement and misappropriation of resources that caused some agencies to pull off. I've had the, the IGG person speak here and I have had the OPM person speak, but I am not very much convinced if the effort to fight corruption is practical or it is only theory. These people were talking of corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. They are with us every Sunday. <laughs> Why this project? Have we won this project because we are doing very well as a country? Have we won this project as we are doing very well because we are doing very well as a local government in Uganda. Why is this project here? Many years down the road after independence, as a country, we are still talking about projects aiming at strengthening accountability. What does it mean to us as participants? In this room. The director USAID, Democracy Rights Governance, Ms. Monica Azimi, says USAID will do all that it takes to fight corruption because annually Uganda is a country that loses a lot to corruption, which in turn affects service delivery. The Inspector General of Government launched this project in Kampala. Two weeks ago, the regional office in Hoima was launched, and today, we're here to launch the regional office, the second one, in Arua. With regards to corruption, we know that it is fundament that it fundamentally undermines progress in all the sectors. And that's why USA cares about this issue. It undermines the sectors of health, education, economic growth, and building resilience to climate change. Every year, corruption robs developing countries of an estimated 1.2 trillion U.S. dollars, while destabilizing societies, undermining the rule of law, and diminishing the integrity of democratic institutions. The Minister of State for Local Government, Honorable Victoria Rusoke Businje, questioned in her concluding remarks appeal to the different stakeholders to commit themselves towards fighting corruption. Our commitment has been supported, I agree, but we must reinforce it with all effort around every sector, straight from the sub-county, to the town council, to the municipality, to the district, and then we crown it with a lot of enforcement coming from the ministry. We have sensitized the electorate on the dangers of corruption but there is no continuity. We need to have continuity on daily basis, on weekly basis, on monthly basis. What are we doing at the other lower local governments to continue sensitizing? A recent study commissioned by the Uganda Inspectorate of Government on the Cost of Corruption shows that every year Uganda loses about 9.14 trillion shillings 
to corruption. This is equivalent to 44% of the total government revenue in the 2019. Reporting for West Nile Television, I am Okumaringa Christine. <music>